Hi, I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Grooves, and today I have a quick tech tip for you on lubricating brake pads. And this applies whether you're installing brand new brake pads, or in this case, uh, I actually was doing some uh, work on the right front of this vehicle, and I had to take that stuff apart. Um, so I've already cleaned up this caliper bracket really well, re-greased it, put it back together. But I want to give you a tip on how I like uh, to lube these brake pads up. So a lot, a lot of people, or a lot of techs I see when I go through shops, uh, you know, you just kind of slather that whole brake pad um, with lube. Now, of course, the T-heads you want to get, they usually do pretty good with that, uh, but it's the backing plate that I see just gets, you know, slathered everywhere. And I say this a lot, but unfortunately in our industry, it seems like, you know, if a little bit's good, a lot's better. The problem that I've found with that uh, over, my, over the years in the shop is that all that does is just attract more uh, dirt and grime and things like that, road salt, whatever it may be, that just sticks to the back of the pads. So I'm going to show you the technique um, that I like to do, which actually entails putting the lube where it actually belongs. So actually putting it straight onto the caliper itself, because that's what we're concerned about. We will put it uh, on the T-heads on the pad. I've already put just a little bit uh, on the abutment clips when I put that uh, bracket back together. So I'll put a little more here. Once again, not too much, because I get too much when I slide this pad in the bracket. You're just gonna squeeze all that grease towards my uh, rotor. And if I don't get it cleaned up properly, I could end up contaminating the pads. So I'll put a little bit here, uh, but then I'll show you where I like to apply it on the caliper itself. So with this, I'm just gonna take a little bit, like I said, and I'm just gonna grease that T-head up really well anywhere. I think it's gonna touch metal. And once again, I'm not going overboard here simply because uh, I've already put some on the abutment clip. Uh, now you don't need a whole lot. Like I said, you get too much in there and it'll actually smear out onto the rotor uh, and then we can cause contamination problems. So I'm pretty happy with that one. And I can get this next one. Now my rack is nice and clean, so I'm not worried about any contaminants getting onto the pad and the friction material. I'll do the same thing here. I may need to get a little bit there and spread it out. Just get the T-heads really well. Once again, we just want these things to slide how they should. These things should be able to move freely inside of that bracket. Remember, what actually returns a piston back into that caliper? And it's just that square cut seal. There's no return springs or anything else. So anything that would bind these pads in that caliper bracket can cause them to hang up. So it's always good to get them lubed up. All right, so now I'm happy with how I have those T-heads lubed up, but let me actually show you up on the caliper how I like to lubricate that to avoid just you know slather and lube everywhere. So I didn't say this originally, uh, but the grease I'm using, just a high temp grease that's actually designed uh, for brake parts. Make sure it's a good high temp grease uh, because you know if we get the wrong thing in there and it actually melts at a lower temp than it should then we have greasy stuff running all over our brakes uh, and that just leads to bad things so this is just a good high temp brake specific lube and I'm gonna get some on my brush here and I'm gonna go right up to the caliper now where on this caliper is gonna contact my brake pads well it's gonna be this point here this here and that one there all those nice flat machine surfaces but also my two pistons so I'm gonna start up here at the top with my brush and it doesn't take a whole lot. Remember, we don't need to put a ton on here. I'll get that one and get this one in the middle really well. Make sure the whole thing is covered. It's just a coating of it. It's not a globs of it, right? I need a little bit more here. A little more there, get this last one. Make sure I get that whole area and that looks good to me all right and then the last thing like i said this one is a two piston caliper setup so we got to get both of those so i'll take it and i'll actually just apply it right to the face of that piston this is another point that's very important to make sure you have the right grease because if i'm using a petroleum based grease here and i get it on those dust boots uh, for this caliper piston they are just going to swell up on me and we'll actually end up hanging these pads onto the uh, rotor and then we'll have brake drag issues. So now I've got that thing nice and lubed up. The back of my pads aren't slathered with brake grease. They're not going to collect a bunch of uh, dirt and grime and road debris um, that can cause problems later on. I haven't used a whole bunch of grease. Uh, saves me on that in shop supplies. 
Um, but other than that, it's just a nice and clean install. Um, but it does exactly what it needs to do. The lube is where it needs to be. All right, at this point, now, like I said earlier on, I'd already done the caliper bracket. I've lubed up the T-heads on my brake pads. I've lubed up my contact points with my caliper. So at this point, I'm good to put my piston back, or my uh, caliper back in, torque those bolts to spec, and this car will be good to go down the road. So whether or not you're replacing brake pads or if you're in a situation like me, uh, you're just, you just had them off for some other reason, you can follow this process and help avoid brake comebacks because of uh, noise or, or calipers dragging. So for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, smash the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. For more information on Garage Gurus, look for us at garagegurus.tech. And I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Gurus. Make it a good one. Yeah.